What role will gas play in helping the EU meet its climate and energy targets for 2030? Well, I think uh, it's quite obvious that gas will have to play a quite significant role in helping the EU to meet its climate and energy targets, notably when you look at the potential for greenhouse gas emission reductions. We have a target of 40%. Simply by switching from coal to gas, our studies have shown that we can already exceed that target by an additional 5 percentage points. So if we're looking at increasing those targets, like it was promised by Ursula von der Leyen, the Commission President-elect, uh, we will certainly um, have to use this gas um, in switching from coal to gas uh, if we want to achieve those ambitious targets. But gas can also play a significant role, notably in providing renewable energy through biogas and biomethane. And already today, uh, it provides about 1% towards the renewable energy targets. And perhaps the biggest advantage is indeed also in uh, helping the EU to meet its non-ETS sector emission reduction targets, notably in agriculture, which has some of the most hardest, hardest to debate uh, emissions. Just in terms of energy efficiency, also there, simply if we look at heating, which is uh, one of the main emitters of greenhouse gas emissions in the EU, there uh, gas, and notably through the upgrading and retrofitting of inefficient appliances that are still largely dominant on the market, uh, modern gas condensing boilers can make a significant contribution to energy efficiency improvements as well. And will gas also have a long-term future beyond 2030, given the need to achieve a carbon-neutral EU economy by 2050? The European Commission still sees a very significant role for gaseous energy by 2050 in a carbon-neutral uh, environment. Of course, that implies that we have to change well, I'd like to say the colour of the gas, whereas today we are 96% natural gas and about 4% by methane. Uh, in the future, that relationship has to switch and we will have to increasingly phase in renewable and decarbonised gases if we want to meet that objective. Why is gases energy so important in making sure that the EU can meet its climate commitments? Well, it's a question of affordability and acceptability. So if we look at um, the discussion about large infrastructure projects that are needed to generate and transmit variable renewable electricity, for instance, then it is quite clear that gas and gas infrastructure will have a very significant role in lowering those costs and actually making sure that we can deliver energy in the form of molecules that can be produced from renewable electricity generation to where it is needed and when it is needed. And we can also store that uh, in the existing gas infrastructure. We have about 1,500 terawatt hours of built-in flexibility in the gas infrastructure in Europe today. And that is able to meet seasonal, uh, vari vari seasonal variations in energy demand quite efficiently. This is something that would be extremely difficult to replicate using the electricity system on its own. So it's a question of affordability and acceptability. And on the affordability point, um, different studies have pointed to the fact that the optimal use of gas and electricity infrastructure will really result in very significant savings uh, in the tune of 200 billion euros annually as of 2050.